Hey guys, this video is going to show you the workflow for taking a free custom rig model from the web, animating it in iClone, and then fine rendering it in Maya. Take a look. Okay, and um, next... So, what's your name? I'm Rogge. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Here we're going to download a custom rig character that was built in Maya for free from the wondrous internet, specifically Creative Crash. 3D Exchange accepts any custom character rig, and allows you to characterize it so you can use the universal motion tools in iClone. Start off by downloading the fully rigged model and then import it into Maya. You can see that there are some blend shapes included that contain some basic facial expressions. For animation in iClone, you won't need the facial control UI, so you can remove that and just keep the basic skin bone rig. After you've finished exporting it into FBX format, then you can load it up in 3D Exchange. From there, you'll want to convert it to an iClone non-standard character, so it can utilize all of the body animation tools within iClone. You'll need to map all the bones correctly first though. This step can be done in a single click if you're using a Maya Human IK, 3DS Max biped, or other commonly used standard character rigs. Since this is a custom built character, we'll map the bones individually. From there, you'll want to take care of the details such as hip offset, as well as foot and hand contact points. And lastly, if you're planning on making your character talk or have facial expressions, you'll need to map the face bones as well. If your character has tongue bones, you can also map those as extended bones and control the tongue or give it spring effects. Next is the expression editor. Here's where you map all of your character's facial motion limits, expressions, and lip sync phonemes. These include eye rotation and jaw movements, so first you can go ahead and set the movement limits you want for these. Then, define the phonem shapes that your character will use in iClone's automatic lip sync. The next step is to map the facial muscles, so you can take advantage of iClone's universal real-time facial puppet animation tool. This can either be done by adjusting blend shapes or face bones, depending on your character type iClone even allows you to create your own custom facial puppet profiles, so you can transition from one expression to another quickly and naturally by using your mouse movements. Once you've set up all the bone mapping and limit data for the expression editor, then import your character into iClone. As you can see here, now your character is good to go for use with the look at and facial puppet features. Go ahead and test out your custom profiles now and apply some animations from the iClone library to check the results. We're going to take a quick look at how your renders will look like in iClone and Maya now. So first, set up a scene in iClone with some decent lighting. As soon as you import in your audio file, iClone will get to work with automatic lip sync, which can be edited further. The scene goes with facial animation. You can use the puppet tools, then refine the details later with keyframe animation. This is where you can see the blended results of your facial puppet profiles in action. Are you Simply use the mouse to, to transition from one to the blown? other. Once the face is done, you can add on some body animation using Human IK, Body Puppet, Direct Puppet, Am and all of iClone's other fantastic motion tools. Are you ready tools. to have your minds blown? Now that you've seen what it looks like in iClone, it's time to collect your animation all into a single iMotion Plus file and export it into 3D Exchange. There you can preview what your final animation will look like in FBX format. Tam Brogge, are you ready to have your minds blown? From there, we'll use a Maya export preset and export the model along with the animation to Maya as an FBX. Here's what it will look like in your basic Maya preview. From there, take advantage of the plethora of material tweaking options Maya has to offer. For a truly nice render, you'll want to adjust things like subsurface scattering, which will enhance the look of your character. Then, go ahead and do your test render. Once you've worked out all the lighting and material in Maya, then it's time to view your final product. Here's what we came up with. Enjoy it! Okay, and um, next... 
So, what's your name? Ham Grogge. Are you ready to have your minds blown? Um. Okay. Go ahead. This here is Habanera from Bizet's Carmen. Uh. uh isn't that a uh, female? Da 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 How about we try something else? Uh, dancing, perhaps? You got it. Uh huh. Oh uh, oh. Uh, twerk it. Uh oh. Uh, to the left. To the left. To the right. To the right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, that was unique. So, uh. Did I, uh, did, did I get the part? Well, we uh, have to consider. I will pummel you into a pancake. Y you got it. Yay.